Morning. How are you doing? I'm in Dover. Been in Dover for a while now. You don't know that though, because it depends what video is coming out. Um, so my promise really for today was to do stuff that a lot of people may know about, but I haven't recorded for the channel. And I really wanted to focus my attention today on these, which are the the caves, what people refer to them as. Although, if you look up and you see where the bricks were covering this entrance, at one point, that would have been a huge entrance. Either that, or they've put the bricks in, these chalk infill bricks, as some form of lining to stop any more extra erosion. However, it's not the point. The point is, is what lies inside. Now, there's every chance that one of them I may not go into because it looks like quite a big drop and I'm not 100% confident enough that I'll be able to do that one because I'm on my own. This is, this, these are the sort of unfortunate problems that I have when I come on my own is that I always run that risk of sort of saying to myself, well, you know, if I can't get back out again, <laughs> I'm not anywhere close enough for anybody to pick me up. So I've just got to try and sort of, a bit of common sense, however, we'll do what we can today. So please forgive me. There's definitely one that I'm, I'm going to have to have a look at properly again. I just feel like the drop looks a bit too big for me. Enough that, yeah, I could get down. Can I get back out again? Who knows? So we'll see. But either way, let's have a look and come on. Right, okay, so this is our first cave, and uh, it's beautiful. I do love a good cave and a good tunnel. I've never been here before, and it's quite special for me to do this. And the torches, even though they've been in heavy use, are actually doing a pretty good job. So, the rumours were that, from what I know, was that it was quite possible these were dug by prisoners of war to be used as prisoner of war cells. Well, that could be more fact than, it could be fiction, more fiction than fact. So really, for me to do a history lesson on this isn't going to be that great. But what is here, however, is this amazing bits of graffiti. A&R. A&R, can you see that? And you can see, it's... Uh, the beautiful thing about these uh, caves, because uh, they're not tunnels, they are just caves really, um, by definition. Um, what you can see is that if you, you can see the flints that are running through the coursing of the chalk. So if you're a geologist, somebody who likes natural history, to see all those little black spots We have a look. Yeah. So you can see these shiny, shiny, very sharp bits of flint. It could be chert, but we'll go with flint. This is the original, en well, exit point. Exit point is the final point, really. <laughs> Doesn't look like, so this is loads of graffiti here. But I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it. Let's try and get something. You can't see that yet. I can assure you there's loads of graffiti. But how spectacular is this? Looking back. It's one of these ones that on my bucket list I've just wanted to come down to Dover and do really always wanted to because I've been very privileged to go with IKS and do some amazing World War II stuff but I've never really done anything more and I've always said in my channel many a time that the east coast of Kent I've never really spent much time down into only when I've been gigging so to actually explore is quite nice for me you know I've always been one of these people who lives in the west Kent which always gave me the option to go to London, East Sussex, West Sussex, Surrey,
Buckinghamshire, and that was really where most of my exploring was, and I neglected East Kent for a, a long time, and then, but the thing is that so many people do these videos now, it's just like, okay, so for me, I've got to try and just do what I can, really, it's just to sort of say, look, you know, Western Heights again, you know, all this incredible stuff here, and you can see these huge chalk boulders, and we're like to assume that they originally weren't here and this would have just been some huge cave you would assume speculation probably somebody in the comments is screaming at me going you're totally wrong i'm like okay fair enough let's have a look at some more really nice graffiti so we've got hc there brilliant isn't it so cool but it's like this dome-like cathedral of chalk. This is the first one. So what I'm doing is um, I'm working my way back up, up the hill, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, they're all in various different conditions. But it's the last one, I think, is the one that I'm sort of a bit apprehensive about because there's, it looks like there's quite a big drop. And because I've never been here before, I don't know it well enough. And because I'm on my own, if I drop down and I am not able to get back up again, that's going to be well embarrassing, isn't it? So. <laughs> but yeah, you know, this sometimes when you got to sort of say, okay, look, I'm, uh, you know, give me some props for sort of doing this, but you know, on the same token, it's like, well, you know, I'm old. <laughs> is that the excuse? Is that all the excuses out of the way? That's all the excuses out of the way, isn't it? But we're documenting it, and that's the most important thing. So we've done it. Should we move on? Let's move on. Come on in. Right, cave number two. Let's go. Cave number two. Amazing. All different. Like I said, they, they're, they're caves, but they all are sort of different in the way they look. And uh, this one seems to be quite popular for people to inhabit. A little uh, passageway. So instead of having a straight cut wall, this looks to sort of be unfinished, either unfinished or people have been trying to dig their way out <laughs> to see what lies beneath or lies in or lies further in just in case. Because you never know, do you? That's literally it. So we look round. Again, this beautiful little black dots, or they're sort of dark brown dots that sort of seem to oh, emanate through this flint. I think that's bad. I wonder if homeless people have been using these. Again, my naivety on this, because I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people are going to fill me in. Sort of semi-modern graffiti there. Lots of sweets and mouthwash because you know you need your mouthwash and you need your you know your rollies. So you've got it all in here. It's some old graffiti, so that's what I'm looking for. JC. So. Wouldn't it be amazing if this this graffiti here had this incredibly well well put out, you know, the calligraphy, I suppose we could sort of say, or the, the way that these initials have been put in compared to that, look, 
TT. <laughs> and you've got an AR there. And then you look at this. That's lovely. WW. You are amazing. Just it's a chalk cave, isn't it? Really, it doesn't I mean the, the fact of the matter is, is that it's not about the history necessarily. It's about the fact of how amazing this just is. Forgive me if my uh, it's dark, as you can see, but my torch is slowly dying. She's slightly worrying. Got another one in the car though, but I'll have to, I don't really want to go back and get that, so we'll just have to put up with this lighting, which is okay, it's doing the job. And again, I'll have a look round. What I noticed down here is that people have blatantly been using that as uh, maybe sleeping. Let's try and get down. Christ, I cannot believe I'm doing this. No hands. Yeah, you've got uh, some cider, I think. Must be quite an interesting experience to actually, um, actually stay in one of these at night. Really, must be quite interesting. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Cave number two done. Go onwards. Right, cave number three. We're getting there, everybody. Look, beautiful. This one's quite interesting because it's at ground level, and you'll know what I mean when we go in there. As in, it's literally just a walk in, no drops, nothing like that. And again, this one's very dark. You can see behind us, this one's probably, although it's quite deep, the actual level of it is quite shallow in a certain way now. And to look through, and it breathable. So, again, this sort of uh, trying to look for graffiti, but this one's been burnt quite a lot. There's an F, J, and an S, and then there's a five there. Looks like, is that a five? This one's definitely the one that's so far anyway that's seen better days. We can walk up it, but really, there's not really much point because you're not going to see anything else. Again, they've tried digging out, but it's black. Totally black in here. And I know, like I said, my torch is running out of battery, but even though that is terribly black in here, and the chalk dust and everything is quite major, really. Beautiful nonetheless. They've made little piles of rubble here. For whatever reason. But yeah, looking back, it's probably the it's the easiest it's the easiest one to get into. And what I mean by is you're not crawling through oh, I wasn't. Um and this is huge, isn't it? Let's keep sort of saying it's cathedral like, it's massive. It's beautiful. And it's uh, history. <laughs> yeah. Look on the side of the walls. There's so much to look at, really, that I don't. This is mostly rubbish. Um. <laughs> But you know, you do what you can. <laughs> you do what you can in here. There's some form of worshipping going on here. Wouldn't be surprised. It's kind of like the most perfect places, really. If you if you <laughs> if you wanted to 
going to the dark arts, I'd thoroughly recommend you to come down here and uh, do everything. <laughs> Trip advisor. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but you know, you know. How amazing. Right. Uh, so it's, just, it's, it's fascinating because they're all in totally different condition, which is what's really interesting about them. So, yeah. <laughs> right, on to the last one. On to the last one. Come on. Right, so this is the um, fourth and final one, and I've made the decision not to go in because I am on my own, and um, yeah, I just don't want to spend a long time trying to get out because it looks a little bit deeper than what it does. Now let me show you that. So I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, I went in there and I did all this, and da 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 da. -da. Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, but for me, like, I just would rather if I was with somebody else to do this. Be, there is a quite a, a sizable drop, should we just sort of say, that might not be too bad for some people, but it's all right getting down. But the uh, age old question always is to get back up. And uh, as I've always said before, when it's stuff like this, I don't really want to risk doing it, knowing that there's a chance I may not be able to get back up again. And that's all well and good, but for me, I've got to be sensible. Oh. There may be uh, maybe when I was younger, would have done it. But again, like I said, the main principle is I'm on my own, and uh, I don't want to be one of them people who just gets caught out by stuff like that. So it's better to play it safe than not. So yeah, you saw roughly what was inside. It's not going to be any more different than anything else really, but it's still interesting. And uh, you can see that the actual height of this one is that uh, it does drop rather than actually um, come to a sort of feasible ground level. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's loads of people who've gone in it and fantastic for you, well done. But for me on this occasion, on this rare occasion actually, I don't think there's actually been many videos where I've just sort of said enough's enough, I'm not going to do any more. So I think in this one, when I looked down I was thinking, yeah I mean I could, but will I be able to get back up again? Maybe, but it'll be an awfully bad scramble for the sake of just recording some extra footage and to be fair, do I risk that? Probably not. So yeah, please don't have a go at me and congratulations if you have gone down there and done it, well done. If you've done it on your own, actually, fair play to you, actually, if you've done that one on your own. So, yeah, hit me up in the comments. If anybody's actually done this one on their own and actually gone in it and come back out again, great. I haven't got my ladder with me. I haven't got anything with me today. I didn't, wasn't really expecting to. If I'd got my ladder, that would have been easy. My telescopic ladder. Uh, but if I'd brought that with me, job done. Job's a good mate. But I didn't actually expect to have one to drop into, but like I said before, I'm not local, I'm the other side of Kent. But I just, the opportunity to record these was the most important thing, to share them with you, even though they've been shared so many times before. That's not the point. I worry about that. Do you think themselves, well, a lot of other people have done it, so what makes me any more, you know, but I've done it. Sorry, moaning and sadness is not on the agenda for today. There you go. So they were Dover's Western High Caves, we're going to call them for the moment. The potentially the history, well, rumours that they might have been POW uh, caves or dug out by POWs and, you know, dug out, etc, etc. But who knows? I'm sure if somebody down there in the comments below would like to fill me in on it a little bit more, brilliant stuff and thank you. Um, but I've got to tick it off my bucket list. And three out of four ain't bad, really. Come on. <laughs> Let's try and be positive. But yeah, like I said, if you've been down there on your own, not of anybody else, fair play. I think, like I said, if I was with somebody else, hands down, drop down, gone in there, whatever. 
give me a jimmy up. Do you remember that phrase? Give me, is it like a leg up, a jimmy up? Give me a jimmy. Yeah. God, I'm old. Uh, all right. <laughs> you need more words of Papa Smurf. Thank you as always for watching. Stay safe. Uh, look after yourselves. Uh, because history matters, and it does, doesn't it? It's beautiful. And I'll see y'all very soon. Take care for now. Bye. Kapow.